Abbott. What time is it? It's time for the Abbott and Costello Show. We're on the air for ABC here in Hollywood. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go with the Abbott and Costello Show. <laughs> Personally, I don't care about girls. You don't, huh? Just so I'm popular with my Sam Shovel Detector fans. The listeners love me, Abbott. Just listen to this note I got today. Dear Lou Costello, a Sam Shovel private detective, you are wonderful. You kill me. If you ain't the funniest guy on the radio, I'm a monkey's uncle. I'm coming to the studio tonight. Mr. Costello, there's someone here to see you. Show the man in. It's no man, just a monkey with his uncle. <laughs> Well, never mind him, Costello. What is your Sam Shovel detective mystery about tonight? It's one of my greatest cases, Abbott. I call it the murder at the radio quiz show, or I've got a body in a balcony, Doctor. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a dandy. Let's do it. Right. We'll do it. Yes, I'm Sam Shovel. Sam Shovel, private detective. I'll take any kind of a case. If you need a detective to shadow somebody, call me. If you need evidence for a divorce, call me. If you need a detective with courage and fortitude, call me. If your life is threatened by a mob of desperate armed criminals and you need somebody to shoot it out with them, there's plenty of other detectives you can call. <laughs> As I sit here at my desk, I decide to read. I pick up my newspaper. It's the Herald Express. <laughs> I see an ad for California grapefruit. You can always tell it, genuine California grapefruit. If it don't squirt juice, it squirts fog. <laughs> While reading, I decide to smoke. I reach for my old Indian peace pipe. It's a genuine old Indian peace pipe. Instead of tobacco, it's filled with pieces of old Indians. <laughs> I glance out the window at the beautiful secretary across the hall. She's wearing a new mink coat she got for Christmas. She got that mink coat the hard way. The hard way. She bought it herself. <laughs> I hear a strange sound coming from the dentist's office next door. Molars! Right face! My cuspid! Squad's left! He's drilling somebody's teeth. <laughs> my ceiling just cracked. A piece of plaster fell on my desk. There's something written on the plaster. It's as wide as a chicken cross the street. It's corn plaster. <laughs> my ceiling is full of old cracks. So are my writers. <laughs> On my wall, I notice a picture of Trigger Finger Tessie. What a girl. She shot from the hip and she could hit anything. Then one day she bought a gun. <laughs> but she threw it away. She found out she could hit more people with a hip. <laughs> Tessie was a gun mall. Every time she started to pull a job, I cooked her goose. In Cleveland, I cooked her goose. In Boston, I cooked her goose. In Albany, I cooked her goose. And one day, she asked me to marry her. She said, Sam, nobody can cook a goose like you. <laughs> I gave her a job as my secretary, but she never could get any work done. In the office, she was a bottleneck. Every time I opened a bottle, she'd want a neck. <laughs> well, here I am all alone, and it's New Year's Eve. I look out at the window at the crowds in the street. What a racket. Everybody's celebrating. Half the men, half the men have noisemakers. The other half left their wives home. <laughs> In the crowd, I see my pal, Lieutenant Abbott of the Homicide Squad. <laughs> Abbott is a shrewd cop, but he's very tight with money. He gave his wife a bottle of perfume for Christmas. The perfume was so cheap that when she put on her fur coat, two moths flew out, hole in her nose. <laughs> Lieutenant Abbott is a drinking man. And how? He loves beer. But in 1949, he's going on a wagon. Not because he wants to quit drinking, but he figures if he goes on a wagon, he'll have to be that much closer to the beer. <laughs> Suddenly, my office door opens. Hello, Sam Shovel. Happy New Year. Where have you been? I haven't seen you all week. I've been helping out with a Christmas rush at Nancy's department store. They fired me. I made a mistake. I took a sign off a dress and put it on a bathtub. What did the sign say? How would you like to see your girl in this for a dollar ninety-eight? <laughs> Never 
mind that, Sam. Are you coming to my house to play poker? None of your wife is going to play. What's the matter with my wife? She's a great poker player. My wife has a real poker face. Every time I see her, I want a poker face. <laughs> what a New Year's Eve. The police department is going nuts with the traffic problem. I wonder how Officer McShane is doing on Hollywood and Vine. Officer McShane is now at Sunset and Figueroa. Who moved him away down there? Brand new Red Hudson going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> ah, forget about that. Are you going to a nightclub to celebrate New Year's Eve? Not me, Lieutenant Abbott. It's too expensive. I went to a Hollywood nightclub Saturday night. Ringside tables were $50. The last row was $25. Cost $5 way back at the bar. I paid 50 cents. Could you see the show? Yes, I did. But it was very annoying. All night long, some guy kept brushing me off with a whisk broom. <laughs> Look, why didn't you come to my house tonight, Sam? It'll be a swell party. Bring that cute little redhead you met yesterday. I had her out last night. We went to Griffith Park and sat on the bench. Every time I kissed her, she pulled her hair out of her head. Well, bring her to the party. Lieutenant, how would it look for me to walk into your house with a bald-headed girl? <laughs> I know who I'll bring. Gertie. Gertie, she's a swell at a party. She's a scream. Does she play piano? No. Does she sing? No. What does she do? She screams. <laughs> Where, where's Sam Shovel? Where's Sam Shovel, the great detective? I, I gotta see Sam Shovel. Oh, please, calm down, sir. What's the matter? Please. There's something, something on your mind? There must be something on his mind. There's nothing on his head. <laughs> Stop joking, Sam Shovel. You gotta help me, please. There's something the matter with my wife. She's asleep. I can't wake her up. Sam, I can't wake up my wife. Have you tried shaking her? Shaking her? I've been doing better than that. For the past two hours, I've been hitting her on the head with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, it's New Year's Eve. Forget, forget you're a detective. Let's go to my house for a New Year's party. <laughs> Well, Sam, how are you enjoying the party? Fine. Uh, attention, everybody. We're going to play games. Now, everybody's got to get up and do something to entertain. Hey, let Sam Shovel get up first. Yeah. 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 Hey, Sam Shovel, come on. Friends. Come on, Sam. Friends. And countrymen. <laughs> and other stuff that goes with it. I'll do the best I can to entertain you. But remember, I'm just a private detective. I'm not an entertainer. You can say that again. <laughs> Who's that, Lieutenant? The, the president of ABC. I had to invite him. As I said before, friends, I'll do my best to entertain you. How would you like to see some of my famous magic tricks? Okay, Sam. Okay, now, Lieutenant Abbott, may I borrow your handkerchief? Thank you. Now, Mr. President of ABC, may I borrow your watch? Okay, here. But be careful with it. My wife gave it to me for Christmas. Good. Now watch me carefully. First, I wrap the watch in the handkerchief. I tie four knots in the handkerchief. Now I place it on the floor and jump up and down on it like this. Hey, what kind of a trick is that? You busted my watch to pieces. Yes, but I want you to notice. There's not one wrinkle in the handkerchief. Get him out of here! Well, Costello, the next show we do will be next year. Yes, folks, and I'd like to wish all of our listeners health, wealth, and prosperity in 1949. And that, and that goes for all the folks that work for us. Matty Malnick and his fine crew of musicians and our vocalists, Hal Winters. And don't forget Viola Vaughn and our writing staff, which is headed by Eddie Former with Paul Collin, Pat Costello, Martin Ragaway, and Len Stern. And our producer, Charles Vander. Good night, folks. Good night, everybody, and Happy New Year to everybody in Patterson, New Jersey, and all over the world. Happy New Year, Mother and everybody. This is ABC, the American Broadcasting Company. <laughs>